It's finally here! Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this. I got a new phone case. I can finally get rid of my old, ugly, boring one. She is the one called Sailor Moon. <laughs> Shush, mochi. Shush. No laughing. So I saw this randomly advertised on Instagram and I fell for it. <laughs> Marketing works on me. <laughs> so it just slides out. And they have several kinds, but I got this one because it seemed the most like simple and pretty. And I thought it'd be like glittery and shiny, but it's actually quite matte. And there's even a authenticity thing. <laughs> Should I keep this? <laughs> it might be valuable. I'll take that off. Here you go. Yeah, but the sides are glittery and sparkly. And it's MagSafe. It's good. It's good. There you go. Look how cute that is. Adorable. Oh, iPod's case. Even the packaging is so cute. Like, I want to keep the packaging. Just has some little sticker like decorations. And then a little hook. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> it is double-sided tape. It peels off. I knew it didn't make sense. So you stick it like this. Then you stick it like this. Oops, we lost the sticker. And the nose is secure. <laughs> there were a lot of sales that happened recently, so we bought some stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I'll show this one first. Metaporte had a big sale, so I picked up a couple of things. I got some Saint Laurent sunglasses, and usually these don't go on sale, and it's actually a very wearable style. So it's a cat eye black. And then it has gold accents. And the little very discreet YSL logo. These are cute, I think city chic type of glasses. I think they suit my face well and also they stay on my face very well, because a lot of glasses just slide off. I also found some jewelry on sale. So I've been looking for a piece like this for a while. It's from Lauren Stewart. It's 14 karat yellow gold. It is a chain necklace. And this is from Recycled Gold. It's very hard to find 14k plus gold on sale. These gold chains have been very trendy for a while now, but I like this that this one's not too chunky. Feels very lightweight. Vince is one of our favorite brands. It's super high quality and very classic styles. It is definitely Mochi's brand. Everything there in the medium fits him perfectly. We saw that they had a huge sale. And so he picked up a few things, and then I also picked up a few things. Turtleneck. Let me check what the material is. 
100% cashmere. It's like a light beige tone with cute stripes, very French. I've been looking for a sweater like this. Almost bought one from Mage for way more expensive. I'm glad I waited for this one. Second piece I got is this cardigan. This like crocheted cardigan in of course a beige because you know I love a beige and the buttons are really cute. They're like mother of pearl buttons. This I imagine wearing on vacation to a tropical location over a sundress as a cute little cover up. Final thing I got at Vince is this blazer. Boyfriend style blazer in a beige. It feels super nice. Like this feels like a good, nice material. This will be good for layering. A really chic city outfit. So I got a swimsuit on sale from My Teresa, another like online department store that I like to shop from. This is from Agua by Agua Bonita. It's such a cute like swimwear and clothing brand. They have the most beautiful like, patterns. Like look at this beautiful case that it came in. And I'm like super picky about patterns. I think most patterns are kind of ugly, but I actually like they're very tropical patterns. Such a cute pouch to come with. Like I can use this to pack my swimsuit. So I have one swimsuit from this brand. I want to get more floral, like very bright blue and orange. And it's a one piece. And then this ties over the neck. So this is how I would style the item. The sunglasses. And then this is the outfit. It's very British. This is how I would layer the necklace. Um, with my Tiffany's necklace. And then I rolled up the turtleneck sweater. It's so soft and it actually fits really well. It's not too big. And I layered the boyfriend blazer on top. And Vince sizing I find to be really big. So I have to get an extra extra small on Vince. But that fits really well. Okay, these are the other items. I wouldn't actually style it like this, but I just wanted to show you it on. And this is the swimsuit. Fits well down here. Up here, those are a little loose. So this one will just be by the pool swimsuit. And then this is the cardigan on for a cute and beachy look. So I picked up this indoor garden. It's a hydroponic system. And I wanted to grow some herbs indoors. Let's open this. So I got it from Amazon. And it was only like 60 something dollars. So that was a pretty good deal. I tried growing herbs outdoors and it just gets so hot here that they don't do very well. Instructions. Looks pretty simple. I'm going to take the plant food and fill it with water and let these things dissolve into it. and just remove and shake off all the soil gently. Keep the roots intact so that I can put it into the system. Okay, that's about as good as it gets. Okay, I'm done with this mint. I think I'm done with this thyme. Five milliliters of each into a liter of water. One. Mix this up and then pour it into the machine. Just squeeze 
no, 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 no. Looks good. Find a spot for it. Shove this into the grow basket. And hope it lose. I think this one I put it here. Okay, this is the final result. You can see that's the power button. This is the button for the water pump. This circulates the water. This button's for the vegetables. And then this button is for flowers. So you can grow flowers or you can grow vegetables. And I think herbs would count as vegetables and flowers includes fruits as well. So you can grow like cherry tomatoes and stuff in here, peppers. So yeah, if it works, this would be super cool. This is such an easy way to garden. I mean, I can have fresh herbs year round. So a little update on the herbs. I planted some seeds in these and they're already growing. It's only been a week and the little seeds are already sprouting. This one is sprouting some sort of little stem. And this one, it looks like multiple seeds have already sprouted. I think the basils do well in here and also the mints. So yay! It's Mochi's birthday, so I'm going to make him some guacamole to go with the Tex-Mex food we're making because Tex-Mex is his favorite food. Guac is pretty easy. One lime, and this is three whole avocados. Toss to coat. Drain the excess, mind you. I'm going to double the seasoning, so one tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon of cayenne. One tablespoon of cumin. Mash this with a potato masher. Half an onion. Two Roma tomatoes. I quadrupled the garlic recipe. No idea because I love garlic. One jalapeno. Seeded. A lot of cilantro. One tablespoon of lime. And now we fold. Paste it with some tortilla chips. Okay.
birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mochi. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Woo! Is there anything special here or not? Okay, so they Chewy. share once. Sometimes I will show multiple cubes. They are what happened to stock price? The stock price went down to three. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of the trip. So I got a bench for the shower. Bought this on Amazon. It's actually made of plastic, even though it looks and actually feels a lot like wood. It's supposed to be waterproof, so it won't rot and get all moldy in the shower. I've been wanting this for a while because I want to sit down in the shower and also extra storage space for all my shower stuff. So let's build. All done. Now I have a place to put all my extra stuff and sit down and relax in the shower. It looks nice, the quality feels nice. I got some makeup from Sephora and also from a Korean brand. First is this hair primer that I've been using for a while. I use this right out of the shower before I blow dry my hair. So this just protects it from the heat, gives it some moisture. My, I notice my hair is a lot smoother and more tamed after this. But yes, I will keep using this. This is I think my third bottle now. Finally, Got the Shiseido eyelash curler. I have another one and I don't like it because it doesn't really fit my eye shape well and I heard that these were good for Asian eyes. So I'm going to try that. So along with that, I also got this Lancome mascara. This has like really, really, really good reviews. So that's why I'm trying it. I I'm excited to try this out and see what all the hype is about. Another thing I got is the Dior lip oil. I think this has been like trending on social media recently. Ow. 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 I got the shade Rosewood. It's like a warm light red so let's try this on very subtle shade very little payoff yeah layer this on top of another lip product maybe it'll look good with this so this is a korean brand i have their other lip tints but i want to try this lasting melting balm it's supposed to be like a very pigmented, hydrating lip balm. And this is the shade 03 Sorbet Balm. It's a pretty shade. Oh yeah. That is very, very pigmented. It's very soft as well. It's very pretty. I think you can sheer it out. Now the rest is just Hourglass products. And I really like Hourglass as a makeup brand. I feel like they have really high quality things. The Vanish Primer. I've tried both the Vanish and the Veil Primer, and I think I like the Vanish better. It's just less drying. So it fills in the pores, and I find it makes a difference in terms of how long my makeup lasts. I also am going to try this setting spray. This is the Soft Focus Setting Spray. Right now I'm using the Urban Decay setting spray um, and it works, but I feel like it's very drying again because it has a lot of alcohol in it. Um, this one doesn't, the ingredients work for my skin, I know that. The mist was super light, which would be, which would be really pleasant for spraying on the face. So these three are brushes. I have I think two or three brushes from Hourglass and they're my favorite brushes. They're really high quality, really soft, and they last, they don't shed a lot. This is the foundation brush. It's really, really soft. It's quite dense, but not super dense. And this is the concealer brush. Honestly, bigger than I thought it would be. Soft again, not super dense. The last thing is this powder brush. So soft. Oh, like super fluffy. That would feel amazing on my face. 
and then a smaller, more tapered side. Yeah, that's everything. I'm excited to play with all of these. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot recently. I have not been feeling well. I have been feeling sick so often these days, and I don't know why. I'm gonna try to post more. Bye, baby.